in the name of the Father, and of the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Now, having met together, they asked him, Lord, has the time come? Are you going to restore the kingdom to Israel? He replied, It is not for you to know times or dates that the Father has decided by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you, and then you will be my witnesses, not only in Jerusalem, but throughout Judea and Samaria, and indeed to the ends of the earth. As he said this, he was lifted up while they looked on, and a cloud took him from their sight. The Word of the Lord On Thursday this week, we celebrate the Feast of the Ascension, marking that day, 40 days after Easter, upon which Jesus ascends and returns back to heaven. But before he goes, he makes a promise, the promise that he will send the Holy Spirit, that he shall send them, his disciples, power so that they may be witnesses in the world, to share the good news, to perform miracles, to do amazing things. But they will need to wait. Often in our own lives, we may find ourselves waiting, waiting for something to happen, waiting for a change, waiting for a promise to be fulfilled in some way. And so we join the disciples on Thursday, beginning for that wait for the Holy Spirit on Pentecost. And we pray that it may be a time in which we can begin to strengthen our waiting in the Lord, to strengthen our trust that he will work in our lives. So I just want you to reflect on a few questions in relation to that idea of waiting. First one is, when have you had to wait for something important? Just think of a time when you've had to wait for something important. Second question, was it worth the wait? Was it worth waiting for that important thing, whether that was an offence or for, for help in something, whatever it may be, was it worth the wait? And finally, how can you wait with expectant hope for God? So how can we build our trust in God that we may wait with hope so strong that we expect him to work? So how can we wait with expectant hope for God? What might help that? Let us pray. Lord Jesus, on Thursday we mark your ascension. But we know that you do not leave us alone or vulnerable. Help us this week to grow in expectant hope of your work in our lives, trusting that you are with us always. Amen. St. Oscar Romero, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen.